Well, it was quite the weekend, and at the end of it all, Ireland still sitting on top of the table on 16 points, just ahead of England, Scotland and France, both on 11, and Wales at the bottom of the table there. Next weekend, Super Saturday starts with Wales against Italy, Ireland against Scotland, and France against England. Ireland very much in the driving seat. And that is where they find themselves, Simon, in spite of a crazy weekend of results. It is still Ireland with destiny in their own hands next weekend. Yeah, it is, thankfully. Um, we still have a great opportunity to win the tournament. Um, but obviously the coaches will have a big look at that performance from us and, and see where to, to improve. Obviously they're going to look at set piece. Um, but for me, I think they'll look at their phase attack a lot um, and, and why England were able to disrupt so much at our breakdown. Because um, in any attacking shape, the, the rook is the heartbeat of the attack. Without it, you can't function at all. So I think around that area, there'll be a huge focus point. And, and if, we, we, if we take care of our job, take care of ourselves, improve those areas, I think um, will be too much for Scotland. How much of a concern is it, Darren, that those areas have been stopped twice now? We've been shown the way by New Zealand and England in the last couple of months? I think um, for Ireland there's probably two things at play for me. First things first, beat Scotland and win the championship. Um, and listen, no disrespect to Scotland, but there are better teams in the world. I don't think Ireland have to be at 10 and out of 10 to beat Scotland. Big picture, it's um, now that Ireland have a target on their back, how do Ireland become better at not being disrupted, mm -hmm. if that makes sense? Uh, England had a really good plan, executed it really well, and we didn't deal with it perfectly. So big picture, um, that's what they'll be thinking. So when teams, when we aren't able to ask questions of teams with these intricate plus pays and these, these wee passes and something that we're so, so good at, when we struggle there, like, where do we go then? And typically, you would be talking about set piece. How can we get even stronger there? We've seen an improvement from the World Cup. And then I still think the one area where we may just miss Johnny Sexton, sorry to bring him up a little bit, is in that, you know, if you come off a sideline and you, and you lose a load of metres, maybe he's the kind of guy that has the experience to come back in that short side and poke the ball in behind and turn England and just I don't like the phrase game management but I just think when the game's disrupted and when we can't do plan A how do we react I think big picture that's how we get better but I think if we play at you know seven or eight out of ten this week I, I do think that should be enough. So it's one simple thing to say that Jamie mm. it's another thing to fix it so what do they have to do to, to iron I shouldn't out give any Darren predictions about? <laughs> yeah. I, I, just, I should just stop yeah. um, uh, look it's not Broken as yeah. such, you know, it's, you know, a lot of the, you know, the, there was loose kicks that led to tries. There was turnover at lineouts that led to tries. Um, they didn't have the majority of, of the ball possession. It, the ball and play minutes, I think, was around 34. Usually Ireland pushed to get it to 40 plus. Mm -hmm. and, and that shows you that they weren't allowed to get into the multi-phase game. So it's back to Darren's point. And if that happens, um, what is plan B? How do we manage that? How do we kind of weather that storm as such and maybe play a bit more territory or turn the, turn the defence, uh, uh, particularly a, a hard defence, we turn it over with chips in behind and we, we test the back three and, and look for grass in that way and be a bit more um, patient and not overplay the situation. But, I mean, it's fine margins at, at this level. It was fine margins in New Zealand game, just as easy in, easy in that same World Cup South Africa game in the group. It, fine, fine margins in terms of how those games can flow. If we go back to when we won the Grand Slam in 2018, um, the France game, you know, they go, what is it, 30, 40 odd phases for the drop goal. They're the margins at this level. Darren touched on as well. It's very, very hard to win a Grand Slam for those reasons of the margins. But what Simon said, it comes back to like the game ahead of them is in their control, they win it, they win. And they'll know that, and they'll be focusing on themselves, pay Scotland the respect that they deserve, um, but they'll be very much focusing on themselves and how to tweak things. Does he go with the 6-2 again against Scotland? Um, potentially, yeah, I'd, I'd say he might do. Um, obviously, it can go wrong, like it, like it is, you know, you, you're, you get unlucky with a HIA or a bad injury, but I think the, the intent was there and uh, having that impact from forwards coming off the bench in a physical game, a daunting task like going to Twickenham, you need that impact from forwards, so I can understand his thinking. Scotland is, are cut from the same mould, I think you can get under their skin, you can get stuck into them a bit. Um, I think there's an underbelly there that Ireland will go after. I wouldn't be surprised if he went 6-2 again and had some big impact uh, from some big heavy forwards. Of course, remember that will probably depend on Frawley's availability yeah, as well. Correct. He makes yeah. that decision a lot mm -hmm. easier. So if he's not available, he might revert back.
back, but he has, like, there's reason to go with that six because of the amount yeah. of depth he has in that back six. five of the yeah. pack. And just picking up on Jamie's point, I think it's really, really key. It's, it's not broken. Yeah. You just need to be every week try and make it harder for someone to beat you. So like it's not panic, uh, it's not uh, panic stations. Uh, after they lost that New Zealand game, it didn't like you look at France. The World Cup didn't go where they fell off a cliff. It kind of looked like Ireland just kept that was just they just lost the game and it was just a continuation. So that's what we'll be looking for from the Ireland team this week. It's not a, a catastrophe, yeah. uh, we just need to try and get make ourselves a little bit harder to beat every week. And, of course, there is silverware on the line next weekend. They go yeah. and they win back-to-back championships and suddenly everything feels rosier. And they are playing a Scotland team who, as you've said, I don't want to write them off now because, listen, we've all been there now this weekend. <laughs> but they are not in the same league as this Irish team over the course of this championship. They've, they've so much potential. Um, but then, you know, they, and they have a big game. In them. They play England the week before. Mm-hmm. They win. And then they... they we're probably favourites going into the Italy game, but they, they're not ruthless in it. And, and credit to Italy, they, 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 they're playing some really good rugby, actually. And they were smart with how they played. They chipped in behind. They exposed that space, the weakness in that team. And Ireland will definitely take a lot of learnings from that Italy game. Um, but they will be... Honestly, I think Ireland will be focusing mostly on themselves. And they'll, they'll scout the opportunity, but they'll be focusing on themselves this week because there's, like you said, a championship on the line. Yep.